Tobago is a small island on nation in the Caribbean. The Caribbean is made up of many islands and Trinidad and Tobago are the farthest south, closest to South America. The country is commonly often called just Trinidad for short. When African people were kidnapped by the Europeans and brought to Trinidad to be slaves, an important part of their culture that came with them was drumming. African hand drums are played to communicate, celebrate, mourn, and inspire. They are played in times of peace and war, planting and harvesting, and birth and death. The European enslavers believed that enslaved Africans were using their drums and songs as a way to plan revolts. This frightened the enslavers, so they banned all drumming. The enslaved people refused to let their traditions die, though. Using their creativity, they came up with new instruments and ways to keep their culture alive. After drums were outlawed, one of the first instruments enslaved people created was called tambu bamboo. Tambu bamboo are long, hollow sticks of bamboo that is cut to different lengths. You play them by hitting the bamboo with another stick and hitting it on the ground to produce different sounds. Tambu bamboo instruments were very fragile and broke easily. So performers began looking for alternatives. They found that using a bottle tapped by a spoon made an interesting sound that could be used to accompany the tambu bamboo bands or even performed on its own. Straight bands looking for more sturdy instruments began experimenting with using steel objects to make music. These objects, including things like tin pans, trash cans, cookie sheets, and more. People quickly realized that when you hit a metal object, raised parts of the metal make a different sound than flat parts. The, this discovery is what led to the creation of the first steel pan instruments. The first steel pans were made of small metal containers. By controlling the shape of different bumps on the metal, the musicians found that they could create notes. One of the earliest steel pans was called the Dadoop and had two notes. Later on, it expanded to four notes and what's called the ping pong. Steel pan pioneers wanted to be able to play the music that they heard on the radio, so they kept experimenting. Through years of tireless invention, they were able to create the full family of instruments that we know and see today. Modern steel pans can play any type of music, from traditional calypso to pop to classical. What do you think the future of steel pan will look like?